Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part three of the wall art project. So uh, stay tuned. So now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to let the car warm up for a little bit while we get the garage ready to work on this project. Alright guys, so today we're going to be working on the wall art project and we've got to go digging for the parts that we're going to need to finish up the front end of this. So we're looking for turn signals, headlight buckets, headlight trims, headlight bulbs, and uh, we got to see if I still have that old grill kicking around here somewhere. Also, I'm not using my regular camera, I'm using my new Canon that uh, doesn't get a whole lot of use on the channel as of late. but. Nevertheless, the, uh, the GoPro is dead, so we're using this one in hopes that uh, we can put some quality video together for you guys. So, let's start digging, see what we can find. So these are just some miscellaneous parts I've had kicking around. I've, I've dug it out, and sitting on the top was this old headlight bucket with the uh, stainless trim. So, we'll probably end up needing that, although it doesn't look like it's in great shape. It's just for art. Hopefully we can find three more like it. Has some miscellaneous opera lights here. Interior, this one's broken. Well, there's my uh, fender tag. I'll clean that up someday and take a look at it. I'm gonna set that aside. This one doesn't have anything in it. So this one, on the other hand, does have a few extras, such as these are the grill inserts for the front bumper, and I've got a couple of those, so those are going to come in handy. And although i got some broken lenses here. I may have some re replacements for those. That looks like it is the uh, passenger side. 
And that is the driver's side. So this lens is good. There's a passenger side one with a good lens in it there. So we see, gotta see if we can track down a couple of the front lenses here. So we do have lots of these. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Should be able to make a couple of good ones. And there's a, another driver's side and you can tell that the uh, lens is broken here, but although cloudy, that one is in one piece. So we might be able to make that work. And we have headlight buckets. So there's our three other headlight buckets. And our three remaining trim rings. Which also reminds me that I've got one broken trim ring on the car now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this out with one with the one that's uh, broken and we'll use the broken one on the art project because I probably be better off to have that on the car rather than hanging on the wall. So there's there's two headlight bezels. And there's two more and those ones there seem to be quite pitted up these ones are just dirty so we'll probably use the two those ones got some pitting on them as well but I think those ones are in better shape overall so I think we'll use those to get them cleaned up one thing we got to keep in mind too is that if we're gonna plan on using these and have them lit up that we're got to be able to have the sockets so this one has the park light, which goes up, which goes in here. I don't know if we're going to have the cornering light or not, but it does have a socket for the actual turn signal. It looks quite rusty, so we've got to keep that in mind when we're putting this thing together as well. So this is the driver's side one. You'll notice that the uh, top piece here is, uh, is beat up pretty good, but the socket doesn't look as rusty as it did on this other one. So uh, we, we've, got a, we've got a spare lens and we've got some spare plug-ins here. We should be able to make two good ones out of these four. So let's for now put this stuff away. And now we're just going to kind of rough fit everything together and make sure that I have all the pieces such as the springs uh, that hold these headlight buckets into place. So again, we're just going to kind of mock things up. I'm going to get a screwdriver and take this apart here so that we can kind of sit that down in there and make sure that we've got everything. Worst case scenario, I don't have all the proper clips and we just end up putting the screws to it. Literally. So there is still one spring here which might hold that into place but we've got to get a screwdriver. So these screws are pretty rusty. I don't know if they're even going to come out. Maybe that's why I left that on the bucket. Mm. No. That one may not come off there so we'll just have to pretend maybe. And then this piece is going to go into here. So, turn a signal bucket thingy. That there obviously is a left and a right to these things. But I don't go that way. So, we're going to test fit the broken one. goes like so. These do have a top and a bottom so your adjuster screws are always at the top of the headlights so there's one there and one there so and they've also got these little tabs on the back 
that fit into these little holes here. So we know that that's going to fit just like so. And our trim ring is, of course that one's not even down all the way. doesn't go on this side so I'm thinking there's a left and a right to these things as well and that those go over there well, she's starting to come together so what it seems like we're missing right now is I've, obviously I've got to get some headlights in there but we're missing some of the screws that hold these stainless steel pieces onto the headlight buckets so I do have some of these. So I do have some of these stainless steel screws, um, and uh, we're going to see if those will fit in and hold these things together. Cheap snap-on piece of garbage. So I think those are going to be fine for that. Maybe they'll be the same size for these headlight buckets. Yeah. Those will do just fine for those as well. So now the trick is to see if we can get these headlight buckets mounted inside of the uh, little pod there so that they're secure. These clips here are the adjusters that snap in to these little square holes. Like there's one, one there and there's two on the inside. One of them is still there, but they, they don't adjust. They don't adjust very well because, oops, well, crap. Son of a biscuit. So we've got to figure out a way to get these mounted on there without destroying this header panel because if I ever have to use it, I want to make sure that all the proper holes are where they're supposed to be. Um, but anyways, we're going to have to see if we can get a way to uh, get these things mounted in there properly. Well guys, this video certainly did not go as expected uh, simply because I thought I had everything that I needed and well, of course, just like any project, you find out what you don't have. So I have made a list of some of the things that I'm going to have to see if I can pick up. Uh, it, and one of them is the little adjuster, the headlight adjusters that help hold everything into place. I've gone through all the little plastic bins and, uh, of, and totes of small screws and springs and all that sort of stuff that I have left over from this car. And I didn't come across any. And typically the little plastic clips that hold it into the bucket down here uh, break as I showed you previously. Uh, so we're going to see if we can find these out on Amazon and eBay and see if we can not track down some of the parts that we're going to need. I'm also, I also know that I am in need of at least one, maybe two, if I can find some that uh, aren't as cloudy as this one, of the turn signal lenses. If I can find some really good ones, I'll put them on the car and I'll take the ones off the car and use it for the project. Also, I'm in need of a grill. What I would like to have is the 300 style grill like I've got on my car now, like this one. And if I can find a grill like that that's in better condition than the one that's on my car now, well, of course, I'll put that on the car and I will use this one as the project piece. So it looks like I'm on a hunt for a few elusive parts and I think most of this stuff like the little headlight adjuster clips you can get through the aftermarket fairly reasonable so I'm going to go looking for those as well as a grill and a couple of these. It seems as though I've got everything else so 
you guys will just have to stay tuned until the next video to see how this thing comes together. So guys, don't forget, t-shirts and hoodies are available at the first link in the description box below. I hope you can help support the channel by picking up your very own Old Car Auto Guy hoodie or tee, many colors, many sizes, and the prices aren't too bad either. So also remember that Thursday evenings are our live stream, the Car Guy and Six Fan YouTube Hangout Show. It starts at seven o'clock central time, eight o'clock Eastern and nine o'clock local. So if you guys are available and you're trying to grow your own channel or you just wanna come hang out with us and learn a little bit about our channels as well as some automotive news, then this is the place to come and I hope that you are able to join us. Guys, I really appreciate everything that you're doing. We have surpassed 600 subscribers. We're well on our way to 650. Hopefully by the time this video goes live, we will have reached the 650 subscriber mark. I'm trying to catch up to my co-host of the Thursday night live stream, Grant Tommy, and his channel is Straight Six Fan. So you can go over here, but maybe it's over here. I forget where those cards always pop up. And check out his channel and don't forget to subscribe to him. And if I can catch up to Grant uh, at his, I think, 875 subscribers, that would be amazing. Sorry, Grant, I just wanna catch up to you. Anyways. If you haven't done so already, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button on my channel. It's that little red icon down here, and don't forget to ring that bell. Guys, I always end my videos with something positive. You know what it is. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.